Well, just in time for Valentine's Day. We are so excited to have our science guy, Steve Spangler, here with all the flowers. Good morning. Good morning. How are you? I'm doing so Everything good. Right? Everything's fantastic. So, uh, so here's what happened. It, uh, it's wonderful the day after Valentine's Day uh -huh. uh, to go and get your flowers. <laughs> Why? Because they're cheaper. Because they're on sale. Uh, stop I it. Love stop that. it. <laughs> I just got in trouble with my wife. I <laughs> just. Uh, <laughs> Uh, but the second thing is that if you're going to do a little experiment, that's the time. So we're going to do two things here in the okay. time that we have together. Number one, how do you preserve the flowers? Ooh, I love All that. All the myths that are out there. Okay. Number two, how can you do some super cool things where you can actually split the color of the flower? I mean, oh, if you wow. take a look at some of these, I will show you the secret to splitting the color of the flower. Half of that flower is yellow. Half of that flower is blue. Perfect. That's the same flower. Look at that. That's one flower that's half yellow and half blue starting green in the center. I'll show you the secret here in just a second. I love Fair it. Enough? All right, first of all, to the myths. Uh, first thing is when you get your flowers, absolute best thing to do is a nice clean cut. Yep. You hear it all the time. Heard about that. And so some people argue about uh, whether you should cut them with scissors, whatever. It's pretty simple. Just cut the flower. Give them a cut. Uh, then when you put it in water, there are so many myths that are out there. You've heard them all. Yes, um, sugar, favorite ones. Sugar. Alcohol. Y vodka. Vodka. Tito's. Yeah. Uh, no, <laughs> I don't. All right. We'll so, do that so, so, uh, so sugar. Sugar uh, nutrient, but it causes bacterial growth. Ooh, like the mold? Got it. Ooh, so then okay. people say, well, a drop of bleach. Well, drop of bleach is okay, okay, but after two or three days, all of this is on the website, and, and after two or three days, the four flowers wilted. Okay, so uh, don't do I, uh, any of those. You get to hear about a uh, little bit of vinegar. So people talk about a vinegar because acid causes the water to kind of come up. Eh. Mm -hmm. A penny. People talked about you take a penny and you drop a penny in. Okay. Um, absolutely zero <laughs> research. Uh, Are you going to give us any of that work? Keep it. Oh, an aspirin. I love that one. Drop an aspirin in. That totally helps. What? Uh, okay. And, uh, and keep them cold. Believe it or not, FTD Flores commissioned this uh, this research project and found out just keeping them cold is the deal. Oh. Clean cut. And if uh, before you give the flowers, stick them in the refrigerator or in the garage overnight. Or if you want to keep them and preserve them, then get them cold at night and then bring them back out well, again if you sense. totally want to do that. All the flowers, they've got, you know, the freezer. Not the freezer. Don't no, freeze your flowers. Don't they've got the fridge. Flowers. <laughs> All right. If you were to show a cross section of the flower, mm -hmm. it would look something like this. I'll hold oh, it nice cool. and straight so you can see. So you see the little tubes that are in there. I just took a bunch of straws and I put them around there. So the little tubules that you'll see there, that's where the water works its way up. So think it's kind of a stem. Okay. Fair enough. So it kind of goes up. So if you put food coloring in the water there, then oh. over time, that food coloring will work its way up. It sucks but it I can tell up. you that that's not the best way to do it. Here's the secret. Okay. See these jumbo straws? Yep. If you take a jumbo straw, like a milkshake straw, and you cut it in half, or you bend it in half like this, All right. then you tape it, and you put it in a bulldog clip. Oh. Now take a look at this. So you see what it looks like? Yep. So now I can load this side with food coloring, straight food coloring, no water. Okay. This side with straight food coloring, and now look at what I get. I get one of these in here. Let me see if I can pull this can guy pull out. out for you. Come there on. you go. Look at that. <gasps> Beautiful. If you yeah. look at this. So now I can put this inside here and actually split it. So notice I can put one part of the stem. You hold this one okay. here, and I'll show you what the split looks like. Look at one of these. What a fun experiment so to do with the kids with all the Valentine's Day oh, flowers. Oh, it's a great one. So look at what I did is I split the stem. Stay right there. There yeah. it is. See how I split the stem? So I took a razor blade or an X-Acto knife, split the stem, half of it in one side, half it in the other side. I've never seen the technique before that happens this fast. I did this three hours ago. You did? So oh, I love that. So those took four days. Okay. Just food coloring and just water. Food coloring. This was three hours. When you actually split it, it gets in there. Bam. Really and cool. And I mean, just strong food, uh, regular food coloring. Don't dilute it at all. Yep. That seems to be the little secret. Put the little piece there, Perfect. and uh, you're going to have great. some beautiful pieces. <gasps> I love it, For your Steve. desk, Kylie. For your desk. Oh, for my desk. Thanks, Steve. And Thank we're going to put all this information at 9news.com.